going on? It's Timmy Joe, making videos, things and stuff on the internet. Happy Cyberpunk Day. Never thought this would have come, and I pray to Lord Keanu on my wall. Uh, although, haven't seen him in the game yet. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, it's, it's Cyberpunk Day, and this build isn't like for Cyberpunk. This is actually uh, just going to be my new uh, GPU test bench. Uh, I scrapped the Intel uh, 10700K for the 5800X. And I want to thank Silver Knight PCs. Uh, we've already kind of seen that this chip I got gets near five gigahertz. If you haven't watched the video, I, I put my AIO rad out the window in a minus 10. And uh, we got some pretty ridiculous uh, clock speeds on this considering I kind of have an idea of what it does now that it's just in ambient temperatures and stuff like that. So uh, before we get into all that and everything, uh, video is sponsored by Micro Center, a place I wish so, I wish so bad was here in Canada. I cannot go to one. But for all of you 70% of my audience that do go to Micro Center because you're in the States, they've sponsored the video and they just said, here's a budget to buy some parts and uh, just make sure you mention us in the video and uh, you know, make it happen. So I got this MSI uh, Mag B550 Tomahawk motherboard, a beautiful motherboard, actually uh, for $170, $180. It's a kick ass motherboard. Very high end for what it is. Uh, we got to five gigahertz almost with it on this 5800X. So super, super cool. And uh, they provided a uh, Fire CUDA Generation 4 M.2 SSD, 500 gigabytes. That's uh, fueling uh, the storage on this guy. And then a power supply, a EVGA. I, I picked it. It's a 750BQ. And that's a bronze power supply. And I, I regret it because it's loud. Um, I usually have very high end, I'm very lucky, I get high end power supplies, usually platinum and stuff like that, to uh, kind of like deal with this thing on a little bit of a budget and you know have your power supply fan kick on full tilt when you're gaming even though I'm sure it's not pulling any more than like 600 watts. Uh, it's, you know, it's just, it's, it's par for the course. I might try and fix that at some point. A little bit of a loud one, but thanks to Micro Center for providing those uh, parts. Uh, and then, uh, of course, 5800X, thanks to Silver Knife PC for providing that. Uh, well, they didn't provide it, I bought it from them, but I mean, it's, can't get this stuff. MSI's uh, 3070 in there, we already covered that in length. Uh, that's, it's in there because this is my GPU test bench and that's one of the better GPUs I have. Just put it in there and it very well matches the totally non-RGB aesthetic. Except for there's a little bit of lights on on the, the, the graphics card. Uh, some white lights that I just put in there because without that little bit of light, you can't really see through the glass that much. And I thought, I want to do zero RGB and is it cheating just to put like white lights on a little bit? Uh, I didn't even put any like strips or anything in there. I think, I think I'm fine. We got an Arctic AIO cool in it. We've got some Trident Z. Uh, it's like 4266 megahertz memory, but it's running at 3800 megahertz. CL16 just fine on this motherboard. Really high end stuff here. I got my a couple of one terabyte SSDs in here for my games and stuff like that. And then we all wrap it up in the new Fractal Design Meshify. Uh, they provided this and I was supposed to do a review on it on launch day and I didn't. Wah, wow. Uh, but uh, I, I'm doing it now. Thank you very much, Fractal. Uh, I have the Define 7. It's my daily driver. And you guys make some quality cases. It's bigger than I thought it would be. Because uh, I think I think I was thinking of the Meshify C and like that was what was going to be, you know, Meshify 2. But I forgot that there, there is a bigger one here. And yeah, it's essentially the Define 7's chassis, but with a mesh front and, uh, you know, a little gray aesthetic and stuff like that. Uh, it looks really good, kind of gunmetal y. Just the whole build here, I'm really impressed with it. Uh, and I like this no RGB stuff. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's nice. You can do a build without having a bunch of flashing rainbow puke in your in, in there. So the whole idea behind this video was to build up my new test bench uh, so that I have the AMD and hopefully maybe put a 12 or 16 core in here at some point. Uh, but I mean, the 8 core is definitely just great enough. And then it's Cyberpunk Day. So I figured I'd take this like mid to high end PC. I know for a lot of you, you're going to say mid. I know it's a very high end PC, but it's not a uh, 5950X uh, and a 6900 XT or 3090. It's a 3070, modest, you know, this is like something, you know, you guys are going to be building out there. 
if they ever get stuck on this stuff. And you might want to know how Cyberpunk on day one uh, performs with this particular setup. Uh, it would kind of go you know, part and parcel with some of the other components out there. Uh, 2080 Super-ish, or, you know, I know that's, you know, this is a little bit more powerful than that. Uh, but the new Ren Rise and stuff like that. I, th I thought we would play some cyberpunk on it and uh, just kind of get a feel for the experience you get with uh, this high-end non-RGB computer and the absolute bleeding edge of video games. So I'm going to go ahead and get it loaded up. Let's, let's check it out. It should be fun. Okay, so I finally played enough of this game that I can walk around by myself. There's quite a bit of, you know, stuff you gotta learn and do and to get to this point. But uh, keep in mind, we're at uh, 1440p with DLSS on and all the settings are cranked and ray tracing's all on. So uh, this is the kind of performance you can expect if you have a very high-end rig and a 1440p monitor. Uh, it's, it's not the greatest. You see there, 50 frames a second. Here, we'll uh, start a little benchmark there. 50 frames a second. It'll go between 45 and 60. Uh, not really ruining the experience. 60 frames a second is the, the mainstay, but in a game like this where, you know, it's kind of filmy, kind of, you know, you can get that uh, kind of slower motion blur and stuff like that. It's not really that bad at all. So uh, you see there, I'm running at over two gigahertz overclocked on the uh, 3070, and it's only hitting 69 degrees. That's that's super good. And then uh, if I open up a uh, hardware monitor here, it's the only way I can tell what the CPU's running at, but uh, we're at 4.7 gigahertz. Uh, even beyond that, uh, just running with PBO, or, or actually the default settings for the CPU. Uh, the RAM is, however, set to 3800 megahertz, with the FCLK set to 1900 megahertz, and the timing's at 16, CL16. So, really fast RAM in this rig. But uh, I just wanted to kind of have a look around. And uh, you know what, this is the new crisis, for sure. If you have a RT, or sorry, if you have a GTX, 1060 6 gigabyte or 3 gigabyte or even a 1070 RX 580 or maybe a Vega or a uh, you know 5600 or something like that you're not going to be running full tilt unless you're rocking a 1080p monitor and maybe it cranked down a couple of settings because this game is definitely involved but it's really cool. Look at all the fog effects. It looks very photorealistic when you're in the city and stuff like that. And you can kind of just like climb anything. You can't, oh, it looks like an old Corolla, but it's a future car. Take control. Oh, it failed. You can't just steal any vehicle in this game. I think you have to build up your hacking perks to be able to do that because the cars, of course, have like chips in them and stuff that you need to do. But uh, you can just run around this place. There's a. Uh, Tom's Diner, this is looking pretty sweet. I think this is a pretty sweet game uh, so far. But you're definitely gonna, this is the new Crisis. They think Flight Sim was the new Crisis. I downloaded Flight Sim. Flight Sim sucks. The only reason why it was so hard on, uh, you know, is just the way it was making the ground and stuff like that and interpreting map data. This is real graphical fidelity. Uh, this is, this is great. What? Save your corporate career with S-certs? Guy's got a gun in his mouth. Uh, I've seen already lots of vaginas, penises, and, and boobies in this game too. So, pr pretty cool stuff. But uh, the rig's running pretty well. You can probably hear the fan running. That's this PSU fan. Uh, but I mean, if you have the computer faced away from you, you probably wouldn't bug it too too much. Look at this cool police car. Ooh, it's got some sort of hologram on the side of it. Oh, they're, what are they shooting a movie? Oh, this is a crime scene. They're shooting a crime scene. Can we? Can I jump? I can jump on the police car. Oh, here we go. Just, just check out the crime scene. Who died here? Who died? Anyways, so this is Cyberpunk 2077. It's running fairly decently, but I mean, you gotta have some pretty high-end hardware to be running this at uh, anything high, ten above 1080p. That is for sure. So. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to keep playing this, well I'm going to edit the video is what I'm going to do, uh, so that I can play this game tonight, later. I want to get this video guys out, uh, you know, today, but uh, I'm at Watch Jimmy Joe Instagram Twitter. This has been a small preview into some cyberpunk performance on a, a RTX 3070, that just kind of the settings it picks out of the gate. You can run ray tracing and uh, you can run, uh, you know, uh, the 1440p high 
ultra quality settings, but you definitely need to use DLSS. Well, let's, let's turn DLSS off and see what happens here. The, I know I, I'm not the greatest for this kind of stuff, but uh, DLSS off. Let's see, close. Will it just let you do that? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> DLSS is a necessity. We are now running at 20 frames per second. That's not great. Uh, can we jump into the crime scene? Oh yeah. Uh, they don't care about the crimes. This is crazy what DLSS does to, to fix a fright. Uh, how do I turn it back on? Turn it back on, I need it back on instantly. All right, I'm gonna go play this video. Well, I'm gonna go edit the video, then play this game. We'll set it back to quality, there we go. And, oh yeah, instantly so much better and it looks the exact same. So, pretty cool. Crime reported, police warrant issued, and illegal activities such as theft or attacking civilians will result in the Bailey police planning on you. I don't know. I'm at watch to me join Scram Twitter. Thanks to Micro Center. Thanks to Fractal for sending the case. Thanks to Silver and IPCs. I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I hope that your rig can run Cyberpunk if you're looking to get into this. It seems like a pretty damn cool game, but it's definitely going to take a little more than uh, you know the hour I have into it to make a fair judgment on it. So I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you very much.